my name is Peyton Dale. For those of you that don't know me, I am a wardrobe stylist based in Nashville, Tennessee, which is why you see all this in the background, not because I have a shopping problem. When I do videos like these, I tend to get people over to my channel that are just looking for a review of something. So hi, nice to meet you, let's be friends. I talk about style tips every Friday in my videos, Fashion Fridays, and I also do something called Music Mondays where I get ready and I tell you a story about a scandalous scandal in rock history and then put together an outfit based around it. But today I'm gonna do an unboxing and I don't do unboxings that often, mostly because I don't really buy new designer goods. I love designer goods, I love luxury goods, I love watching other people unbox these, but I, one, don't wanna spend all of my money on new things, and I also don't buy new leather, so that kind of keeps the window smaller. The one time that I have purchased new designer um, bit me in the ass. It was the Great Chanel Driving Moccasin fiasco of 2017, We will or 2018. We will not go back there ever again. Uh, also, so I'm gonna do my first luxury unboxing, and this is something very minute, but I am trying to be more organized in 2020. My husband and I like took everything out of our closets and got rid of stuff. It's all sitting in my car still. I need to probably take that to the Goodwill, but we're trying to be more organized. I'm a Virgo, so my brain likes organization, but I don't know what part of me doesn't like keeping it that way, or just I find it too difficult. So I'm trying to stay more organized. I got this on Poshmark, this Louis Vuitton agenda, like maybe three years ago, and I traded for it. So I traded some designer goods that I had that didn't fit me for the agenda, and I've really never used it. I threw it in my big, um, let me go get it. For the agenda in my giant sack plat, which is a 70s bag, it's got my PFD monogrammed on it. And the problem with these older Louis Vuitton bags, and, I'm, and I had a problem with my vintage Gucci before I sold them, is that the lining will shed and it leaves like this weird residue. So there's residue all over these pages. And I just never really used it, but I finally figured out how to clean it up. And this bag is so beat up. I like the more just, I like the more beat up the better on my Louis Vuitton stuff because it makes it feel less Brentwood soccer mom. Brentwood is where all the, um, Soccer moms and trophy wives live here. So it just makes it feel a little more cool and I like the 70s styles. But I thought that'd be cool to have an agenda to go in my bag and it'll match everything and great. Um, but I only used a few of the pages and I realized that Louis Vuitton makes like makes uh, planner pages. So I went to our Louis Vuitton and my essay, Debbie, if you're in Nashville, go see her, she's the best. She doesn't make you feel like pretty woman at all. I feel pretty woman every time I go in anywhere. So she gave me the pretty packaging. I'm really excited about it. And she gave me a box that looks a little like this. So this is my, this was my first uh, Louis Vuitton box that I have. I have a few bags from when I've gotten stuff serviced. Um, but this is the new packaging for the holidays and I love this, it's so pretty. And the box, it's so funny because one of the main colors in my house is orange, so I'm going to be uh, using this a lot. So I'm taking off the ribbon, which I could probably use it as a bookmark. It's really nice. And then the box is supposed to, is this a magnetic one or a slidey one? It is one like this. So it opens up, it's got a little tissue paper in it, and then the pages to the agenda. Uh, my agenda size is the MM, so it's the middle sized one. And what I liked about this is it's themed. So every year there's a theme and it comes with stickers and it comes with um, just little stuff. And you know, agenda pages are really expensive no matter where you get them. So there's the front of it, it's super cute. Uh, this one is travel themed, so it's got all these little cute pages. And a half of this is also in French which I'm trying to learn French. It's part of my um, 2020. But it's got all these cute little trunks for every single month. And there were pictures of famous people that have commissioned from, uh, you know, items from Louis Vuitton. So I'm gonna see if these actually fit in here and how much fits in here. So let's just start putting stuff in. All right, it looks like it's fitting. We'll see how many months we can fit in here, but it looks really cute so far. And I also know um, that I am more likely to pull out something and take notes during a meeting if it's something that I think is actually cute. Most of the 
fun in buying luxury pieces is the experience. So I haven't had the greatest experience at Art Louis in Nashville. I've had great experiences with the one in uh, New York and I really enjoyed it. Okay, so it looks like all the pages fit in here, including the pages that I have um, of just notebook pages. And they come with these really cute little stickers. I love that. Um, so you can put them wherever you want in your, you know, there's, they look like passport stamps, which I think is really cute. So I'll be using those and then it ends. All right, let's see if we can close it. <gasps> we can. There we are. It's so cute. I really like it. I think that I'm going to get a lot of use out of it. I'm going to come back in a year and make a video and tell you guys how much I used. Pages are yellow this year, which I love. Everything fits along with the notepad pages from my, I think it was like 2016 that I got the other one. So I'm really impressed all in all. I will let you guys know if I use it, but I wanted to do a quick little unboxing because I never get to do one of these. This is really pretty and it is one of the colors of my house so I might use it for decor because clearly this is normal for my house. I am also excited because in 2020 I'm going to be turning our garage into my styling studio starting with leopard print carpet floor to floor. So I'm going to probably do a vlog covering the process of that and um yeah so for those of you that have not come to my channel before welcome i promise you i'm much more fun in real life um and i'm not just talking about stationery but it does get me excited i will talk to you guys tomorrow during fashion friday i'm going to be doing a video about me reacting to the trends of 2020 monday's music monday is really funny i am really excited to do that one because it's one of my favorite stories in rock history and if you want a little bit more help, you want a little more love, head on over to patreon.com slash the Peyton Project. We are in the middle of a five day style challenge. I'm really excited. So I will talk to you guys next week and actually I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. And until then, remember you wear it well. Bye.